who can eat his siblings <laughs> and his mom and dad. The Mantis Man. <laughs> the that's Mantis great. Man can. You ever watch uh... Ren and Stimpy? That's what that's from. No, that's not what I was thinking of. Um... Grouch Potatoes. Shit, what's his name? I can't think of his name. He made a really funny. It's like a song. He goes, Who can take your money and give it to some other guy? Who can take your money with a twinkle in their eye? The government. <laughs> <laughs> the government can. What's the guy's name? I'm going to look it up before we start. It's going to drive me nuts. And it's going to drive me nuts. And I'm going to be distracted through the whole episode. And I'm not going to be able to focus. Let's see. Don't go in. I'm not going in. I'm just inching forward. Tim Hawkins is his name. Okay. Yeah. I watched a few of his stand ups. There's a lot of music stand ups. Okay. You ready to talk about Tarantino? Sure. Hey, all everybody. Right. We're talking about Tarantino. Yeah, we are. I've been on a real Tarantino kick lately. I haven't seen all of his movies, but I, up until recently, I haven't seen almost any of his movies. Oh, that's except perfect. Except for. Holy jeez! Except for Django and Inglorious Bastards. Is that gonna. This guy's awesome. It's like cooler Darth Vader. It's like old timey Darth Vader. Anyway, so recently I watched I watched his newest one, Hateful Eight. Oh, yeah. Really good. Uh, a, a thrilling three and a half hours of my life. Um, really, though, it was really good. Um, I watched Pulp Fiction for the first time. Oh, yeah, I watched that the other day, too. Overrated. Uh, I think it was good, but people blow that way out of proportion. It was not nearly as good as everyone says it is. It was alright. Um, that being said, I watched Kill Bill, Volumes 1 and 2. Haven't seen Kill Bill. You've never watched Kill Bill? No. Alright, I'm going to warn you about Kill Bill. Because a lot of things people say about Kill Bill, I read some reviews online and stuff. If you go into the first one thinking it is 100% satire, like it is meant to be taken as satire, then... It is a fantastic film. If you try to take the first one seriously, it's it's not good. No? The second one is taken seriously, and it is really good as well. So they're two different movies. I think that's why he split them into two. Because the first one makes fun of, like, generic, like, I need to take revenge for my family movies, and, like, they mm. go out and they, like, find, they train and become better, and they take revenge. It yeah. makes fun of all that. It really does. And it does it perfectly in Tarantino fashion. And the second one is the actual revenge story. That he's making fun of the whole time, and it's really good. It's phenomenal. Tarantino, he's a good director. Oh yeah, like so, he he makes very striking, like visually striking. Just yeah, good movies. So now we need to watch uh, Reservoir Dogs. Haven't seen that one ever. It's on Netflix. Reservoir Dogs is good. I watched that one. And all, uh, all the ones on Netflix, I watched. What else? What else? What are the other ones? I forget. Have you seen Django Unchained? I have. I've seen Django. Really good. Also as, as well. Tarantino very hard great. to watch. Is it? Is it? I, I, the Why? thing because man, it's just being a slave. They don't, they don't yeah. skim the the you know the bad stuff that happened. No, you're right. So, you're right. You're right. I, I think I, uh, that any decent human being would see like how they treat other. You know, humans I gotta give props to Samuel L. Jackson for being in that movie. For being in all of Tarantino's oh, yeah. movies because all of them. Oh, they love him. In at least the way I, I know. And all of them, in at least a way, deal with racial, you know, discrimination. And oh, yeah. he just doesn't, like, he doesn't let it, it doesn't, it doesn't get to him at all. I think because he knows it's, it's acting, for one, which, yeah. I mean, good, you should. Ayo, Black Knight Rise, oh, nice. check yeah, it. Nice, yeah, we got it. Maybe check it, see if you can use that. Ech, 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 ech. Maybe after you die this time, because, <laughs> yeah, okay. let's be honest, you're going to, you can upgrade it and make it better. Absolutely. Then you can use Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Don't. Absolutely, no, I'm, I'm, saying me. A, I'm saying absolutely. All that's something that I can do. I'm not being condescending. Absolutely. It's just my don't make fun absolutely. of my tone of voice. Absolutely. How about that? How about you take into account that maybe people speak a certain way and and they're kind of self conscious about it. I think it's just your smug haircut. <laughs> I'm growing out my hair so it looks less smug, Jamie. Thank you. <laughs> I knew that one would really stab at you, and I'm sorry that I took that stab on purpose, Jace. You know what? You have nice no. hair. I'm not dealing with that gentleman. You gonna deal with any of them, or are you just gonna skip them all? Because if you run, he's gonna follow you. Yeah, but now I'm not on a bridge. That's true. That's true. Um. Anyway, what else Tarantino movies are there? 
What are the other ones? I can't, I can't think of them. I know there's at least one other besides Reservoir Dogs that I haven't seen that I want that I really gotta watch. Ah. Now I will tell you that there is one movie that Robert Rodriguez directed that Tarantino was in as an actor. Oh yeah. It's called. Uh, he does that. She, what's it called? From Dusk Till Dawn. I've heard of that. It's a vampire movie. It's yeah, very yeah. popular. Um, Rodriguez really is. I mean, he he is one of my favorite directors. Robert just like, Rodriguez. On principle, he made the Spy Kids movies. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was weird. Yep, that was weird. not. That was weird. Cut. Good. You want to take a little swigums? What is that from? Swigums. Swigums. I think you just say that. No, no, no. It's like a mascot in a car. Swigums. The cartoons. Yeah. You're talking about Strawberry Smiggles? No, no, I know what that is. They're are you talking about me, Strawberry Smiggles? Are you talking about Smackums, the Sugar Smacks frog? I think I'm thinking of Smackums. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Smack, smack, have a smack. <laughs> Give me a smack and I'll smack you back. <laughs> Early Family Guy really did. Yeah. I mean, it, it's good. You can't deny. It's true. I told you I recently watched uh, up. I started watching Family Guy on Netflix for, for no reason at all, and I think you know what it is. It's around season six or seven that, that it, it really starts, starts to go downhill. And you know what? You know what it was that set it off? What? While it was one of the greatest Family Guy episodes of all time, it's what really set off the downhill spiral. Hmm. The uh, Star Wars episode, Blue Harvest. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the first episode where you're really like, there are no original jokes in this. It is simply they're calling back to everything they've ever done in the original, like the earlier episodes. Yeah. And that's where that's when Family Guy started going downhill, when it was all callback jokes. And I'm like, yeah, they're funny, but they were funny then. Give me something new. Fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> You're not gonna. I'm not gonna beat this guy. Pause. What are we gonna, what are pause we gonna it. do? Pause it. There it is. Pause it. <laughs> hey, so. We looked up how to beat him. Chase looked up the Prima strategy guide. As if that is going to help. Apparently the secret is... Parrying. Parries. Can't parry a shield. It's pretty amazing. Chase looks at the video. Guy parries it once. He goes, I can't oh, do he that. parried. I can't do that. He <laughs> proceeds to parry the boss four more times until he kills him. That's how it works. And then Jace's spirits immediately into the toilet. There we go. Oh, look, he can do it. So, See? So that it... I'm not going to be able to survive that many hits from the boss man. Oh, no, of course not. The way it happens is apparently there's Black one... Black Knight's sword. That's that, not I the mean... great sword. That's the one you probably should have leveled oh, up and yeah, could have been using this whole true. time. Oh, yeah, Oh, well. Anyway, so we're going to give the boss <laughs> boss one more... Oh, uh, uh, well. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. We're going to give the boss one more go-around, and uh, if, if that doesn't work, we're just going to have to fix it in another session. Fix it in post. Nope. We can edit in him dying. Okay. Yeah. We'll just steal from another video. Yeah. We'll just steal from another Let's Player. Who cares? It's not like they're making art. Capitalism, right? Exactly. Free market. Isn't that what this is? I mean, what do Let's Players even do, right? Make YouTube great again. That's my motto. You know what? That's and my I've motto. I've been wanting to talk about this. Oh boy, here we go. I feel a lot better... Now that I've stopped wanting to make money off of Let's Plays. Oh, yeah. Because at first, at first, I'll be honest, that was that was the dream. I thought we'd be the next Markiplier uh -huh. or Game uh -huh. Grumps. And, you know, we've talked about it a bit. We've talked about it a bit um, in, in other videos. But now that we're... Uh... Wow, what? Some problems just take care of themselves. Yep. Yes. Uh, yes, indeed. But yeah. So now that I'm like, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I've just been able to enjoy this as a yeah. hobby instead of like. You, ah, gotta, you gotta take a step back and look at it with fresh eyes. I want to quit my job, and just do this, which would, I still do, but I'm not as involved in it, and I feel like I'm happier with that. Yeah. Now that I'm not like, looking for that penny, and also we don't have. Without having to worry about monetizing videos. Looking for that looking for that penny. Exactly. Literally exactly how much we've made. <laughs> <That's> the... <laughs> and I mean now I I unmonetize the channel. Oh, okay. So there's no future earnings, like we don't have to worry about DMC A claims as much. Yeah. 
We uh, can put in whatever music we want, and they can't say jack shit. Exactly. Because we're not making money off of it. Exactly. And I just... I mean, we still can't do that, but it's not as bad. Like, we can't get sued over it. Yeah. They'll just take the video down. Jeez, freaking... And even still, if it's not monetized, usually they won't even flag it. No, but truthfully, I, don't know, I just I feel like I'm enjoying this session more because we've been out of it for at this point two months. Yeah, yeah. Like it's been, it's been bad. Things have come you up. Level up. That is actually a level you up. can't. You're one. You're four hundred away. I think you need forty-four thousand. You know what I'm gonna do? No, Jace, tell me. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see if I have that ring that lets me keep my. Yep. It's a good idea. I'm gonna rush in. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my souls. I'm gonna die. You already die. have them. There's no souls in oh, here. Oh shit. You're right. <laughs> well, don't just die though. Alright. Block it. Parry it. I missed. That was the one. That was the one. Nope. <laughs> oh boy. Oh god. Oh, well. He's so good. <laughs> He's so good! We'll see you next time. Oh my god, I want to be him! We'll I want to be him when I grow up! We'll see you on the next episode, maybe. Jeez. Bye!